بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون وی آر کمنگ بیک ٹو ورڈس کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی ہیڈ اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ڈسکشن ارلی این پارٹ ون اینڈ از اے کمپیریزن آف کارپوریٹ گورننس کوڈس آف ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز اینڈ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی دی سیکنڈ پارٹ وی بیسکلی و لوکنگ ایٹ فور ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ بنگلہ دیش وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ سری لنکا وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ انڈیا اینڈ وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ پاکستان سو لیٹس موو ولٹ بٹ فارورڈ اینڈ لوک ایٹ ہاؤ دے ٹین ٹو بی سملر اور دے ٹین ٹو بی ڈفرنٹ in the context of the audit committee, the remuneration committee, and the nomination committee. So when we look at the size uh, of the audit committee, then uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in Bangladesh, in India, and in Pakistan, minimum of three members, while in Sri Lanka, we are talking about only two members. The chairman of the audit committee in Bangladesh and India, it should be an independent director, while in Sri Lanka, it has to be a non-executive director, and again in Pakistan, it's preferably an independent director. Non-executive or independent directors under the audit committee, well, in Bangladesh, at least one independent director. Uh, in India, two-third members uh, should be independent directors. So, in Sri Lanka, they should be the majority, while in Pakistan, all non-executive directors and one uh, independent director would be formulating the audit committee. And the audit committee is the most important committee in the context of corporate governance. Uh, reporting framework of the audit committee, well, in all four countries, uh, in the reporting framework of the audit committee is to the board of directors, it to be Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, or Pakistan. So again, a lot of similarities. We see the frequency of meeting of the audit committee and time gap between the two meetings. Well, in Bangladesh, it is not covered. In India, at least four times and uh, not having a gap of more than four months between two meetings. In Sri Lanka, uh, it is not specifically covered. and uh, in Pakistan at least uh, once every quarter of the financial year. So again, uh, we see a little bit of disparity and independence uh, in the time frame uh, of these different meetings. Uh, the quorum of the uh, audit committee meeting, well, uh, in Bangladesh at least one independent member. In India, either two members or one third of the members of the audit committee, whichever is greater, but the minimum of two independent members should be over there and it's not specifically covered in Pakistan and Sri Lanka. So therefore, in those areas in which it is not specifically covered, I think that uh, Pakistan has a lot to learn uh, from our other SARC countries so that uh, things can not be ambiguous, uh, can, there cannot be any gray areas, and things should be much more specific to ensure better compliance and better implementation of the guidelines and code uh, of governance. Uh, we look at the size uh, of the remuneration committee. Well, that's not covered uh, in Bangladesh, uh, at least three directors in India, two directors uh, in Sri Lanka, and again, three directors uh, in Pakistan. Uh, in the remuneration committee, non-executive and independent uh, directors, well, not covered uh, in uh, Bangladesh. All of them should be non-executive directors, and at least half should be independent. Uh, well, in Sri Lanka, we see exclusively non-executive directors, while in Pakistan, a majority of non-executive directors, and preferably an independent director, should be a part of the remuneration committee. which is uh, extremely important. Now, the chairman of the remuneration committee is not covered in Bangladesh, but in India should be an independent director. In Sri Lanka, an independent non-executive director. And in Pakistan can be any member of the remuneration committee except the chief executive officer. Now, when we look at the size of the nomination committee, which is the third committee, it's not covered in Bangladesh and Pakistan, but in India, at least three members, and in Sri Lanka, two of them. When we're talking about the chairman or chairperson of the nomination committee, then not covered in Bangladesh and Pakistan, but in India should be an independent director and in Sri Lanka should be a non-executive director. Non-executive or independent directors under the nomination committee, uh, not covered in Pakistan and Bangladesh. In Sri Lanka, it should be the majority. And in India, all of whom non-executive directors and at least half of them should be independent. So again, uh, what we see is that Actually, in um, Pakistan, uh, what we see is that uh, the nomination committee is not a requirement, and therefore we see that it is not covered, uh, and similarly also in Bangladesh. But because it is a requirement in India and Sri Lanka, therefore we see that the stipulations are properly formulated. So again, uh, we looked at two committees, uh, three committees actually, the audit committee, the remuneration committee, and the nomination committee, and the differences between Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan. Thank you so much.